Hello and welcome back to the notes coming to you uh, off from my iPhone today as I'm out of the office. Very briefly, obviously, the big development from Thursday was the very dovish statement from the Bank of England, which uh, put back expectations of a tightening in, uh, in the UK and weakened both gilts and the pound sterling. Elsewhere, things have been very quiet ahead of the big event for the week, which is obviously the non-farm payroll data here in the US. Broadly speaking, the Fed has lowered the bar uh, in terms of how strong the data needed to be for the market to be convinced that the Fed will indeed raise rates next month. The official consensus expectation is around about 180,000. Uh, I've read various pieces of research suggesting that it's now in practice more like 200,000. Uh, and it would need to be dramatically lower than that, like below 145,000, some have said below 125,000, before you would get any real sense of concern in the market that these numbers were too weak to let the Fed move ahead and, uh, and raise rates, as it obviously wants to do. If you have uh, a very dramatic beat on the upper side, then... Uh, that begins to raise concerns that, uh, that the Fed will tighten more aggressively after its first rate cut, but will deal with that uh, good problem to have if it arises. I, I suspect at this point, uh, barring a big surprise on uh, non-farm payrolls on Friday, that the biggest issue now for whether we do indeed get a rate rise comes from the broader markets, and particularly the emerging markets. And so I'd like briefly to show you this chart which shows you the Bloomberg Industrial Metals Index going back to uh, the crisis year, 2008. And you can see that today it's actually dropped to a new post-crisis low. There is still deep concern, deep deflationary pressure out there and underlying weakness for the, uh, the uh, big manufacturing-led economies of the emerging world. If the Fed is going to decide not to hike in December at this point, it is more likely, I suspect, to come from a furthering of those trends, a further weakening of markets, a further uh, outbreak of worry about deflation in the emerging markets than it is from any US data. But we'll find out soon enough.